For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto, fa unto the Father but by me. The only access to heaven is by Jesus Christ. Religion will get you to hell. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life is the way to heaven. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Religion has never done that. There has been no other man approved by God for the means of salvation the means of taking away the sin of man. For the Bible says, Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, which take away the sin of the world. And in order to get to a place called heaven, you have to do with your sin condition. For the Bible says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. So, your prospects of going to a place called heaven as a sinner in your sins is zilch. Because a priest can't absolve your sins. Water cannot wash away your sins. Attendance of a church or assembly will not take away your sins. Only the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, is your only access. Whereas God will say in Isaiah chapter 1, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The reason Jesus Christ went to that cross is because we are sinners. Because we have no access to God without the blood of atonement of Jesus Christ. The blood of the lambs, the blood of the goats and oxen of the Old Testament was not sufficient. For when they were to die in the grace of God, they went to a place called Abraham's bosom. They didn't go to heaven. But today, on this side of Calvary, on the faith and belief of Jesus Christ as your Savior with your heart and with your mouth, you have access to God to be absent from the body and present with the Lord in salvation. You cannot approach God with religion. You cannot go up to God and say, I'm a Catholic. That don't work. There are no Catholics in heaven. You can't say, God, I'm a Baptist. I'm a first Baptist. I'm this Baptist. Baptists are not in heaven. Lord, I'm a Jehovah Witness. That's not going to work. You have to be a certified Christian, and that is of Jesus Christ, who is God, who is the gospel for salvation according to the scriptures, and the approvement of God by the prophecy that Jesus is Jewish, Jesus came from the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ is the sacrifice of God for man's sin, and you've got to be careful because Paul says, there's another Jesus. Your Jesus may not be God's Jesus. You have to have the certification of God through the right Jesus Christ. Many people believe on Jesus Christ, but they'll find out one day by Jesus Christ himself. The words of Jesus in the book of Matthew, the gospel of Matthew is, Depart from me, ye that work in iniquity, I never knew you. But Jesus, didn't I eat you? Didn't I drink you? Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew. But Jesus, didn't I pass out magazines? Didn't I go the door to door? Depart from me, ye workers that work iniquity. I never knew you. And that would be that loving, gracious Jesus Christ, the holy Jesus Christ, where all judgments given unto him by the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. 
There is no other means. There is no other way for you to get to a place called heaven except by Jesus Christ. You may have a false assurance, a false hope, unless your belief and your hope is upon the blessed hope, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. You must come to Him as a sinner that you are. All have sinned. The fact is that one lie, one dirty word, stealing one thing has made you a sinner. And the problem is with being a sinner, that sin has come early in our life. Let me explain myself when I'm talking about us being sinners early in our life. We come to the fact is that we were a child growing up. And we lied to our parents. I didn't do it. Not me. I don't know. And you did it. And when you did it, you told mom or dad or both, I don't know, was it me, was brother, was the dog? That's a lie. You are now classified as a liar age three, four, five, six, and up. How about, well, boss, I don't feel well today. I'm calling out sick. And then you go enjoy the rest of your day not in a sick bed. That's a lie. You are now a liar. You go to someone's office. You sign paperwork, whatever it be. And then you get home, you find out that pen that was that person's pen is now on your bureau. That's stolen. That's a thief. You are guilty before God. The simplest sins that we look at as far as mankind is lying and stealing. We are now classified as sinners. We need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And we have to come to Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. To be saved. To be likened in the eyes of God of righteousness of Jesus Christ alone. We have no righteousness. We are sinners. God says, be holy, for I am holy. And the only means you have to be holy through God is Jesus Christ. You must come to Jesus as you are, the sinner. You can't have excuses before God. You can't say, God, it was the environment I grew up in. That doesn't take. Well, God, it's the color of my skin. There are no excuses before God. All have sinned. There is no excuses. There is no exception when it comes to the sinning man before a holy God. That Jesus Christ is the only means of salvation. That Jesus Christ is the only way to get you to God the Father. You need to deal with your sin. There is something else about sin according to the Bible. Sin has a disease attached to it. Sin has what the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. You need to learn how to drive, lady. The wages of, the wages of sin is death. Because you are a sinner, you will die. And I've had someone tell me, at least one person, I'm ne never a sinner. I've never sinned. But when they look down at your tomb, your tombstone, your casket, your vase, whatever they do with your dead body, sinner. I had one man tell me one time, oh, I'm never going to die. That's a lie. That's a sin. The wages of sin is death. 
you are going to die one day. Death is coming. And death may be as soon as you think it is. You may not have the promise of this afternoon. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you'll die as a fool and end up in a lake of fire that burns forever. You will burn for all eternity by rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior. You will suffer because you have not trusted in God's remedy for sin, the Lord Jesus Christ. You have not come to God by the means of God that has set forth for you to be right with God, Jesus Christ. Now, when you come to God as a sinner, it cannot be, oh, I was caught, I'll shed some crocodile tears, and then God will be pleased. No, your sorrowness, your repentance has to be true to the heart. There has to be a change in you because when salvation comes, the Bible speaks about as the new nature, the new man, a new creature, the new birth. All things are passed away. And there's a fact with salvation that there's never been a change in your life. Possibly you have not ever been saved. Because the new birth gives you a new identity. The new birth gives you a new purpose. The new birth will give you the newness of the Spirit of God that comes and dwells in you. And that there is that new birth. Satisfaction of God through Jesus Christ. And the fact is that you need that new birth for Jesus said, you must be born again. That new birth comes by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And there is no other means where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There's no religion attached to salvation. There is no other man, there is no other means to be saved but by Jesus Christ. And only Jesus Christ can save your soul. And that is you. Because all sinners need Jesus Christ. For all have sinned. All need repentance. All needs to come to God's way for to be washed of your sins, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That means that approval of God is met by God through Jesus Christ. And there's nothing else you're going to be able to have for salvation unless you believe on Jesus Christ. If you die without Jesus Christ, you die as a fool dieth. And you will wake up in hell and you'll be hopeless. You will not have life. You will have torment. You will be in the wrath of God, John says, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The fact of the Bible is, whether man wants to believe it or not, is not relevant to what you think. It is what God has said. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation, heaven, life, new body, a place without sin, no more tears, eternal life is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And you are not safe. You're not well without Jesus Christ. You cannot die in assurance without Jesus Christ. It's that plain and simple. There is a gap between you and God. For all have come short. That's the gap. 
and that gap cannot be filled with anything but Jesus. Nothing else, nothing else is approved. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The remedy for your death of sin is you're still going to die. But you can change residence after you die. In the state of the sinner that you are now, you will die in your sins and go to hell. But if you were to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you will die, the Bible says, to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. If all people want to go to heaven, you got to put your faith and trust in Jesus. You have to come with your heart as the sinner that you are to be saved. You must repent of your sins. You must put your faith and trust all in all in the one that is all in all. That is Jesus Christ. There is nothing else. There is no other remedy, remedy of God except Jesus Christ. If there's ever anything that you can hear above my mouth of the wicked music that's behind me is that Jesus Christ a name that's above all names. There is no other way. There is no other hope but Jesus Christ. And without him, you will die and go to a place of misery, of torment. You will go to a place with many, 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 many people just like you. Christ rejectors, God hating. I don't want the Bible. Well, that's the perfect place for you. It's hell. You don't want the Jesus that's preached. I don't want you in the place called heaven. Because the place of heaven is where everybody loves Jesus. Where everybody's put their faith in Jesus Christ. Where everybody loves the Word. Where everybody has listened to God. Heaven's a place where you listen to God. Hell's the place where you reject God. When the Word of God has been preached to you, when salvation has been brought to you by Jesus Christ. I don't come here asking for money. I don't come here for a church attendance. I come here in the name of Jesus Christ that you might be saved and know that you're saved. For the Bible says, these things have I written unto you, that you may know you have eternal life. That you may know that life is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Salvation, your entrance into heaven is by Jesus Christ and nothing else. Enjoy your music while you can because there is no music in hell. There is no entertainment in hell. And yet there's no preaching in hell because the preaching is now going in all the world and preach the gospel. You will not hear about Jesus in hell. But in, in heaven, we'll be rejoicing and praising the one that suffered and died for us. You must come to Jesus, the sinner that you are. You must step out from the world. You must come out from amongst them. You must come to God's sacrifice. That sacrifice is at the cross. That sacrifice is the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that there is no other means there is no other way that you can please God there is nothing else you can do to make God happy in your life but to put your faith and trust in Jesus and the Bible says in Luke 15 that even the angels in heaven rejoice when one sinner repents and gets right. Luke 16 says the hell in hell, the rich man went in hell, he never had a name. But salvation, you get a new name written in heaven. You get a name written in the last book of life that lasts forever. 
Old things have passed away, new things. You must be born again, Jesus said. You must put your faith and trust for salvation for Jesus. There is no other way. Break it on.